Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our training and uh, preparation for Elastic Certified Engineer exam. And uh, today we will start a new uh, topic. We will see how we define and use index templates for a given pattern that satisfy a given set of requirements. Uh, before we jump, so we saw uh, in the last video, video number four, uh, how we create an index pattern and how we, uh, we will use it. And today I prepare uh, three uh, scenarios that we will uh, try to solve or try to implement uh, as uh, as a practice and preparation for the exam or for your uh, for your production environment, right? So the first scenario said so like uh, you are uh, tasked with uh, managing the logs for a web application and you need to define an index template that applies on any index or any indices related to the to uh, this uh, application log. Or logs. Uh, the logs uh, are stored in indices that follow the pattern. So we have the first thing is the pattern, and the logs should uh, satisfy these four conditions. So the first one, the timestamp. We have to define the field. Uh, we name a timestamp, and we know timestamp. The right uh, format is a date. Secondly, we will have two uh, two fields: uh, user ID and session ID. We have to give a, a type keyword. And for the settings, we need to define the replica uh, or one replica. And also we have to define the refresh interval for 30 seconds, right? With that being said, let's jump to our uh, environment. So uh, we know how to um, recreate the, uh, um, the index uh, template. So we do it from the dev tools from here or uh, the other option, like you can do it from the UI. So you click here and you click on the index management and you click here on the index template and here you, cre you create your template. So here you have all the, uh, here for example, settings, mapping, aliases, uh, uh, component template and so on and so forth. So here you have <coughs> all the uh, configuration that uh, you need to do, right? So now, uh, again, if you don't know how to create uh, the, uh, if you don't know how to create an index template, then you refer to the documentation. So you find here a short uh, link, like you can click here to redirect you, or you can go to the documentation and click on search on the, um, you search on the uh, uh, index template, right? So for us, we need this template. So let's start. So we go to the dev tools. I will just go from here. So put, index template sorry index template and here did he ask okay we will call it scenario one right scenario one and here we go to the uh, to the thing so the first thing he said we need to apply like here on this pattern. So all the indices start apps dash logs dash something should take this, um, uh, should use this index template. So I will copy paste this first line. So we come here. So here I have to, I have to change it to the right scenario. So this is the scenario, I copy paste it. Perfect. What's the second one? So he said um, we have to define our. Uh, I will start with uh, with uh, with the settings first. So I will define the number of replica. So here you will see the settings. So I will start. I start like this. So you have to pay attention to the um, to close all the all the thing. Yeah. So like this. Just perfect. So here, what they said, said the number of of replica to one. Right. So we finish with the first one, the replica. This one. So if we come, if we go also to, if we open Elastic Search Index Settings. In the, uh, let me see what this. 
Yeah, we'll find this here a second. So here is the yes, here is the index settings. Not updates. I will go to maybe here we find create index and we will see all the we're supposed to find all the all the settings, right? This is the syntax like uh, to not make any typo. So this is the is the same that is, is correct what they ask again um replica now we will define uh, the refresh interval so let's go here and search for refresh so here we have the refresh so if we go to the to the setting of the uh, okay let me search elastic search refresh or refresh index yeah this is the right one so if we define the refresh so this is a refresh interval okay let me see what we have here as well here we go Okay, there is no interval here. Perfect. Refresh interval. Here we go. Here we find the uh, the setting here. Here we go. We have index refresh interval. So where we put it? This is the syntax. We need to put it in the um, in the settings, right? So here we have this one so let's go back to the um yeah it should be here so i will just put this mm -hmm. and here i will go with uh it's a 30 second this is the default one but if they ask let's see again this syntax Not this one, let's close it. Interval. Okay, so this is the refresh interval. We can put one second, so let me go back. So it's like this. I'll just here put put a comma like this. Here we go. What else we have? Uh we did this now we do the uh, the templates wait let's do the or the mapping sorry so i will copy the mapping i will copy the mapping like this i will come here settings so i put a comma here and add the mapping and just do this perfect so i don't need this one what they said is what is it so both user id and session id should be a keyword let's go here so this field user id and this field which is session id should be a keyword so i'll just remove this field or this value here right and put it like this right so let's see now what we have here we go now let's create our uh, our templates our run it and here i see there is a, a there is a missing missing value so i will do i will do this Right like this. Here we go. So I was just missing missing this one. So if we if I get now the the template index templates, I will call scenario one, and I run. Now it will apply on all the indices. That start with with this. The number of replica is one, and the refresh interval is thirty second, and the mapping is this and this. Right. If now if I create if I create 
uh, an index with the with the name of let's say uplog or uplogs one like this if i run it it will create an index and it will uh, apply this template so let's get the index so here we have this field this field as keyword keyword and the uh, and the the refresh interval is 30 second and the number of shard is uh, or the replica is one right let's jump to the second one so it's the same thing so we have to create a new uh, index we uh, or uh, index template we call it vm matrix and this is the requirement so define the cpu and the memory as a float and set the number of uh, a primary shard to three and the replica six and uh, max result window set it to uh, to uh, a thousand uh, a hundred or hundred thousand all right so let's let's jump now and create the new one so i will i will name it scenario two put index scenario underscore two you have to respect what they ask you to do in the uh, in the exam so i will start with the first one i just copy paste it here is the index name so this one should be uh this one vm dash matrix dash star perfect now the next so define okay i will start with the settings and then i move to to the mapping so i'll start from here right so i will come here uh where is it so i, I will i will copy this okay i have to close another one perfect so the number of shards and the number number of shards let's take the number from here so the number of primary shard 3 and the replica is 2 the primary here is 3 and the replica is 2 like this right this is done define okay now the uh, the mapping I will come here so I see I have here the mapping I copy the mapping here I paste it here add a comma here so here uh, let me remove this and this so what's the let's move this one here so the name is CPU usage and memory usage so this is the field one and this is the field number two and the type should be float right float it and uh, the second one is also float perfect so i'm done with this one now they ask to add this max result window right so we're like again you can come here to the uh, to the index right and you search for uh for this uh for this setting so max result window so i just copy it so if you don't know where to find it then you can here we have it so so by default it's ten thousand. but if you want more or we want to customize it then we need to use this uh this um parameter so it's here in the in the setting so i'll add a comma here and between double quotes i will give it like this i don't know this is yes perfect so let's give it a try now here we go acknowledge if like every time you need to uh, confirm that you are correct so i will get the index template scenario 2 and run run it so here it will apply on this i have the number of shard replica max result window and the type right if i 
create an index with this pattern like this and I get the index here we go it's applied so this is the uh, mapping float float this is the number of shard replica and this is the uh, max result window uh, now uh, the last scenario so feel free to take a screen shoot and uh, apply it on your environment try to implement it and let me know in the comment section if you uh, have any uh, question related to this to this scenario with that being said we get to the end of this uh, video let me know in the comment section if you have any question or a problem and we we'll see you in the next video